Welcome back to Career Mode with your host Hawk Gaming. Uh, we're going to carry on from where we left off in the previous episode, where we had landed on the moon just next to a little moon arch. Uh, so obviously we have a few things we need to do to take advantage of the situation. We need to sample the ground, we need to sample the ground in the arch, we need to sample the actual arch itself, uh, we need to pff, return back to Kerbin. I don't know, we, we have a few things to do. Leaving the Cradle Mark II, landed down on the moon, and uh, people have been saying, oh, you could get so much more science if you repeated the experiment. I don't feel like repeating the experiments. It seems like a bit of a... I don't progress through the tech tree too quickly, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's uh, let's do observe the mystery goo that's down here on the moon. It seems to be less dense, with uh, 40 scientific value. Keep that data. Uh, let's go on EVA. One small step for Kerbal, or fool for a Kerbal. One giant step for Kerbal, giant giant leap for Kerbal kind. Uh, let's plant our flag. Probably should have done this on top of the arch, but oh well. There it is, the Union Jab. Site's name. Um, doo -doo -doo. Small steps. Yeah, yes, we finally did it. We've made it from the blue one to the grey one. Uh, let's take a surface sample. The sample appears to be comprised, spelled wrong, maybe that's Kerbal spelling, you don't know, could be their language. Comprised of a long, of a large number of materials layered over time, worth 120 scientific value. Keep that data. Uh, make an EVA report. You look up and search the sky for Kerbin, suddenly you feel very small. I mean, Kerbals are fairly small anyway. So, that shouldn't really be anything new to them. I guess they have no comparison, though. Like they haven't compared themselves with humans. Okay. Surface sample from Moon's Highlands stored. EVA reports from Moon Highlands stored as well. Let's get back out. Another similarly small fool for a Kerbal. And let's go over to this arch. We definitely want to go over here. I wonder if it will still be classed as Highlands, or whether it will be classed as Anomaly or something. You never know. Might be. I wonder if we can sample rocks as well. I don't think we can, but that would be an interesting update for it to be... for it to happen at some point. I would like that to happen, actually sampling the rocks. Um, there we go, land on top of the arch here. It's a bit dark. There we go. Take a surface sample. And it's Moon Highlands again. Okay, well, we'll keep it and we'll return it back. Oh, we can plant another flag. There we go. Plant another flag. We've just got millions of these just rolled up in the command module. Site name. Uh... I don't know what the hell I'm going on about. I'm probably spending too much time just describing things rather than actually playing the game. But that is quite a cool sight. Union Jev the wrong way around. Hang on, if we just... No, to turn to face this way. There we go. And then... We have... Line up for the camera! Come on, Jeb. Is it Jeb? I think it's Jeb. Just salute or something. There we go, now let's actually get some daylight. So he's just gonna, this is another one of the tests, he's going to stand outside for hours on end. Whilst we wait for the sun to come up over the horizon. There we go, look at that. Yep, I like that. Okay, let's store this sample back in the command pod. Where, where is the command pod speaking of? There we go. Do some bit of acrobatics. You should get science for that as well, shouldn't you? You should get science for everything, really. Acrobatics included. There we go, bring this back down to our command module. Really don't want to die. Just realise that I'm being a bit hectic with my jetpacking. Uh, don't die. Oof. Yeah, doing the time acceleration whilst jetpacking, uh, get a lot of speed that you can't really handle. And if this guy dies, all the samples die with him. 
and there's no one to pilot the command pod back to retrieve the data. Higher wavelength of small steps. It, it, I was trying to I was trying to make it sound like still small steps, but going a bit of a further different distance. Um, a higher wavelength. Because going up steps is actually a really good comparison to wavelength and frequency, or of the of the relationship between wavelength and frequency, and the wave speed. Ah, yes, the insights you get from listening to a GCSE physics student, eh? All these wonderful insights. Uh, let's gently bring down Jeb. Over the... It's not actually going to be Jeb, is it? All this time I'm going to call him Jeb, it's actually going to be someone else. And grab. Board. Oh, The experiments look like cannot be stored in the command pod 1. Ah, damn it. Well, yeah, uh, there's nothing. There's no. We can't take any more samples because we've already got one sample, and that one was redundant anyway. Uh, let's do a command crew report. Record the crew's assessment of the situation. Let's transmit that back, seeing as we can. Where is Kerbin actually? Oh, we don't have enough electric charge, and Kerbin is just up there. Well, I think it's time for us to leave anyway. I think we can take our ship back to Kerbin. So we just need to launch upwards and. Uh, about 45 degrees over to the east. So, goodbye, goodbye, moon. And now we can tra uh, now we can restore data. Uh, keep, keep, keep. Where's crew report? Crew report. There we go. Not an electric charge. Oh, this LV99 isn't making electric charge apparently. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I wonder why. Ah, well, it doesn't really matter. We're going to get this command board back safely anyway. So, pointing roughly 45 degrees over towards the horizon. Horizon. Pointing 45 degrees, probably a bit more actually. We want to turn over a bit more. About there. Now, it's just, it's a question of whether we have enough fuel now. I'm not convinced we do. Oh dear. Oh ho oh, oh dear, hang on. We we might not have a fuel enough fuel to make this. Ooh. Ooh. Let's keep burning because we're not gonna be able to land with this fuel. Oh dear me, we ran out of fuel. Oh bagger. Well, um Sepatrons, Sepatrons, we've got Sepatrons, okay. Uh, what? I'm pointing at 180 degrees? <laughs> what on earth? Oh, wow. Well, we've got to carry on burning this way. Oh, dear. This is going to be an interesting next episode. Okay. And I can't control the command board because there's no electricity. Alright. Um, the couple. And time to use the Sepatrons. Oh dear. Firing! Oh, that did not look safe. Okay, we're on an escape trajectory from the moon at least. So we're not going to crash. Unless we... <laughs> what a rubbish orbit. Uh, okay, there's nothing we can do now. Uh, this, is, this is a predicament. What we need to do is launch a new mission and go save Jebediah Kerman from his fate to orbit Kerbin endlessly. That's gonna be that's gonna take a lot of delta V because it's such a high inclination orbit that it's gonna be a big burn to match it. You know what, I'm confident we'll be able to do it. The problem is, of course, that we won't be able to bring back the samples. Uh, which is more important than really the life of Jebediah Kerman. <sighs> Damn. No, we'll, well, we can probably try and think of something. I'm sure there's a way, some way of being able to push the command pod back and lower its periapsis. Well, I guess we better get to work on doing this. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Career Mode, and I shall see you in the next one.